Hello everyone, Lynn here with the video for you all. Now I know it's been a while since I have recorded any kind of video for you guys. I apologize. So we are going to be looking at a couple of Kenbor products. Well, is this from Kenbor? Yes, this is Kenbor as well. All right, here's the thing. I was using the cousin, the Hobonichi cousin, right? And I found that I wasn't using it um as often as i should so i wanted to try the a6 this is the first time i've actually picked up the chinese dragon um version so this is the hobonichi techo dupe is essentially what it is and I wanted a cover for it. So I ended up grabbing this. This is cheaper than an actual cover and it comes with a notebook. But in a separate video, I actually have a very small A6 haul. So that'll be coming shortly. Either this will be first or that'll be it. I don't know, however it comes out. But um, let's go ahead and unbox these two guys. I'm super excited. It's I, It's been a while. I don't think I've ever had a Kenbor yearly planner. I, I, I haven't. So this is my first time trying this out and I'm super excited to do so. So first off, before we get to this guy, let's go ahead and open this guy. So this says it is a Techo. Now this was listed as a notebook just saying so this says it's an a6 techo so i don't know about this guys um and you see how it's showing what the pages look like here and again i got this this is a small aliexpress order they're competing with um timu with the 14 day shipping so i got this super quick this is one of those nice felt, like, not felt, but like a um, fabric cover. Okay, so that is, oh, it's magnetic. I don't really like magnetic closures, guys, because eventually the magnetism kind of wears off. So here is what the cover looks like. Now, I'm going to tell y'all this. This does feel super cheap just saying it does not feel like a mo term or anything like that um i do like that it has the, the uh pin loop built into this so that's actually cool it does have some card slots here as you see super deep fitting my whole fingers down in these card slots so you could essentially put cards in here straight up and down and they should fit just fine and your pocket here and pocket here with your okay so these are just regular straps just be careful with these because they do end up fraying uh let's go ahead and open this guy because again i have sorry about the glare i have no idea what to expect because like i said this was listed as a notebook uh, but again, I got it so I can use the cover for this planner, but I'm going to use another cover instead. So I could just keep this guy in here. I think this is how it goes. So it seems like what we have, I want to say, yes. So these are numbered from... Is that 6 a.m.? So 6, 8, and then it goes down to uh, 6 p.m. And of course, you can put other things down here. So you see it has a slight grid pattern. Um, that says to do, don't know what this is. Uh, so yeah, if somebody know, let me know, because I have no idea. And so all the pages are like that. So this kind of sort of puts me in mind of nostalgia minus this section. Okay, so they have, they have the month at a glance here in the front. 
guys, you can use this any year. So this is 20 whatever, and then you can label it according to when the, the what day of the week falls on what day. That's cool. Okay, I like that. I thought, okay. And here we have the section like the, oh, what is this? Oh, there's a little card in the front. What is that? It's a couple of stickers, I assume, so you could do your name tag or whatnot. So that's cool. Uh, but you have your month. Well, these. this is the year at a glance. My apologies. And then you have, yeah, that's just the whole year. Then we have the month at a glance where you could fill those out however you want. Then we go into the months. You can notate up top which month it is. And then you can fill out the days and the days of the week are already there. And you also have a nice note section here on the side. Yes, that is for the whole year. And then it gets into the, I assume, what would be the dailies. Okay, so that's interesting. So let's put this guy in here. I'm going to just leave those as is. We're going to slip him in here. That way you can see how this looks. So this was uh, pretty, it, it wasn't expensive. I think it was maybe 14 bucks if that. So this is not a bad um, idea if this is something you would like to try before you dive in and get a techo or uh, before you dive in and even get something like this. So this one would actually be the techo dupe. This, I would say, is more akin to... I can't even say Stylogy, because Stylogy don't have those sections in the front. So, this is more akin to a Techo. You even have your little pamphlet in here. Um, and of course, it shows you, I guess, how you can use it. But as, as well, it is not in English. So, but I think this is interesting. You have a little... Look at that. Isn't that cool? You have a little, it's a 2024 calendar of the whole entire year. I love that. That is really cute. So this gives you where you can use this um, for something instead of tossing it out. And look at this. It, it This feels like a, like that faux leather. This feels like that faux leather material. And this says, there is a dragon in the ancient east which is one of the symbols of the Chinese nation, Kinbor. And it too has 2024 on the side, like the Hobonichi. You see Kinbor here on the back. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a constellation, but I don't know if that's what that is or not. Um, inside cover, it feels like that fabric-y material as well. You have this nice, shimmery page this uh yeah and then it too has okay it's not numbered it just has a oil seal and then you see 2024 down here but see this looks like like a fabric you know like the fabric paper that's what that looks like and the, ooh, it smells good oh that smells good <laughs> So then we have 2023, which is our current year. 2024 on a whole page. So you have, uh, I don't know what this is on the bottom. Is this some kind of, Is are these pointing out maybe special holidays or something? I'm not for certain. Then you have 2025 in the lower corner there. Then you have your month, um, I assume these are like month at a glance pages where you can fill in uh, whatever it is you want to fill in for your months. Then we have our monthlies. 
and as you see on the bottom you have well on the sides and on the bottom you have room to write so I'll put that down so you can see that full starts again in January Sundays are in red then you have the previous month and the following month in the lower corner there and then you have all of your months there so however way the month falls you either have it up top or in the lower bottom so I like that and it just goes to December then you have your forward page so this says plan of a new year so and then it has little tiny boxes for the month I, I like that okay then you have section here and a section up top here then we have 2024 so this first page of January then we have our dailies here we have the time blocks again and then you have section down here at the bottom and we have it shaded here for the months as you see January all the way down to December so this is October so again you get one page a day nice a6 side goes all the way to December and then we have a few pages here of grid paper five six seven, eight. so they're labeled I like that I don't think I've seen that so they're labeled Fourteen. How many pages? Fourteen. So there's fourteen pages at the end of the book, and then we have a schedule. I assume this would be for something like school or something like that. Um, I'm not for certain, or maybe work. Uh, and then we have your gift list. So if you're giving gifts, you can mark all that down. And then we have a 21 day plan. So this, if you all are familiar, they say it takes, isn't it? I think 21 days. I thought it was more than that, but it takes 21 days to break a habit. So, you know, if it's something that you're looking to improve upon or whatnot, you could possibly do that uh, using this as a tracker. Then we have our favorites. So I think that's cute. So this is akin to that top 100, maybe. Um, so that's on a couple of pages. That's a lot for favorites. And then we have, so they have eye exercises here, of course, cannot read any of this. And then they have an encyclopedia. Y'all, I miss encyclopedias. I actually had a whole set of encyclopedias, including the concordance and the indexes and stuff. I used to love to just sit there and read through them. Uh, and then some, I guess these are conversion charts or whatnot. And then we have a map of China. As you see here, they have some things written there. So there's that. And then we have the time zones. Is that what this is? This looks like a time zone map. So we have that. And then there, I assume, oh, gourmet recommendations. That's nice. And then we have solar terms. So I wish they had this in English. That would be really cool. And I assume, yep, this is where you put all your personal information if you choose to do so. So there's that. And yeah, so I just wanted to do a unboxing flip through or whatnot of the 2024 page a day Ken Bore. Again, this is akin to the Hobonichi Techo.